Greetings. Still, I want to speak to you on the subject of health, wealth, and mindset. I just want to discuss how important it is for you to be healthy and for you to be quite disciplined to exercise your body, take care of yourself. How important it is for you to find time in isolation, time in solitude to really exercise your mind. All of that is part of being healthy. And when you become more healthy, you can think more carefully. You see, the biggest problem in our society is that most people do not think. Sometimes I ask myself, how can some people live in such large countries, metropolitan countries, countries that are referred to as first world countries are developing countries with so much access to certain knowledge and so much example of successful people around them. Yet, many people are still living their life just barely making it. And so, my brother, my sisters, my encouragement to you is to start to cultivate wealthy mindset. Start to think more about wealth. Start to think more about the generation that are going to come after you. If you're living in America, start to think more different about the country that you're living in. You see, from my experience and my observation, many people treat their country that they're born in in a common way and they normally complain about the immigrants or the other people that comes into the country and doing better than them for example i remember in my country it was the, the, sometimes people were complaining about the guyanese people coming from guyana and so on and they were doing better than the people in the country but the people in the country they were lazy and many of them had false ambition they didn't want to be seen by the roadside selling and so on. But these people are taking the initiative to do that. Even the Syrians. I remember quite vividly when they started. They started with a, back, uh, with a bag on their shoulder. Selling clothing and so on. And then after a while you see them owning stores and so on. And now they own so many stores. So my brother and my sisters. You have to cultivate a certain mindset. To create wealth. Such as learning to read books, learning to listen to motivational speakers, going to seminars, taking courses, listen to people who would have done it, admire people who would have done it. Many a times people are willing to just be an employee and never ask the employer, how did you come to achieve the things that you have? What allow you to own that? Nothing is wrong with asking someone who owning a Lamborghini how they got that Lamborghini and asking someone who own a Rolls Royce how they got that Rolls Royce or a Hummer or any luxurious thing in this world. Nothing is wrong with asking Christian. And sometimes these people are very humble people and very easy to talk to people because I realize that they have a certain demeanor about themselves. They carry themselves a certain way. They have a certain mindset and many a times we form our own picture and images about these people sometimes based on the, the environment we grew up on what we would have heard our parents our grandparents say about you know wealthy people or people who are more fortunate than us in terms of they more they were more willing to do certain things that we were not willing to do and so like for example, with me growing up, I used to hear my grandmother and, and, uh, and, and my aunt and, and, and the, the family members and so on speak about, you know, rich people, oh, they're going to hell, how oh, they're wicked, they're greedy, they don't share and all of these things. But I come to realize that it is the poorer class of people in society who are greedy and those are the ones who don't share. They always want something for free when there's nothing for free. They, they always want to receive something, but they don't want to give anything. And so, my brother and my sisters, mindset is basically everything. So, if you want to create wealth, you need to have a healthy 
mindset you need to have a wealthy mindset you need to have a healthy body i believe a healthy body is actually a wealthy body because wealth is within you but if you are sick and you cannot do the things that you're supposed to do and you cannot go the places that you're supposed to go and it have you one place and you cannot accomplish anything okay i could understand you know what i mean someone who born that way like say if they're crippled or if they have some sort of you know thing that limit them yet sometimes some of these same people do not allow you know these things to limit them okay i've seen man who born without any feet accomplished thing in this world men who born without any hands have accomplished great things in this world many people might be familiar with helen keller who was i think she was blind and and and, and deaf and she achieved so much and there's so much example of people who immortalize themselves in terms of you know generation after generation people still talking about these people it is because they would have developed a healthy mindset and a wealthy mindset because they understand that mindset is everything so my brother my sisters take good care of yourself physically go to the gym exercise okay if you have access to the beach go to the beach if you do not have access to the beach take walks do something do something with your life okay and be more healthy okay and think upon wealth morning noon and night and when i say think about wealth think about how you can give service to humanity if you are already giving service think about how you can give more service to humanity and at the same time you are cultivating that mindset the mindset to help the mindset to uplift the mindset to motivate and to inspire my brother my sisters the most important thing that you have in this world is your mind that is why you need to cultivate that healthy and a wealthy mindset it it should mean everything to you you see i can go on and on and on and on but i think you get the real message i'm trying to get across to you okay be healthy be wealthy and be wise because taking action is for the wise the people who don't take action they are not wise people who procrastinate all the time they are not wise wise people do things even if they do not feel like doing it because they have a goal they have a dream they have a vision they are visionaries and they do not just think about themselves only they think about the generation after so my brother my sisters i hope what i'm saying it is very much inspiring to you and it can definitely help you to exercise your mind to really think a little bit more deeper of how you can really do more with your life and you can accomplish more with your life because that is actually the message i'm trying to get across to you okay because your health is your wealth and you cannot get your health and your wealth if you do not learn to fix your mindset mindset is everything so with that be said my brother my sister i want to thank you very much for listening to me i want to say to you if this is your very first time that you're listening to me what i'm saying if it makes sense to you, if it resonates with you and you haven't subscribed already i'm definitely encouraging you to subscribe to like to comment and to share this video also if you like to follow me on instagram i like to follow me on tiktok you can definitely follow me at black mad guru and uh, i have my latest book it is called spiritual recipe for better living and i'll definitely encourage you to get it it's available on amazon get one for yourself and for a friend or family member and help them to grow and expand more spiritually by getting and using those recipes that is available in that book also if you would like to be a part of my patreon community i have information that is available for each and everyone in spite of the different tire whether is it five dollars or ten dollars okay i am very grateful however for people donating 20 or more dollars i have a course available it's called the inner sun science and technology to create your reality consciously and along with that is a bonus course on self-concept 
So if you feel strongly led to listen to those videos, I'll definitely encourage you to do so. Also, you have the opportunity to reach out to me by way of email if you like to have a one on one. But of course, it has terms and conditions. And once you're willing to invest in yourself, we can definitely work together. But just before I leave you, I just want to remind you that if you feel strongly led to support this work, that we have a PayPal and that the link is always down below. So with that be said, my brothers and, brothers and my sisters, I just want to say peace. Love you all. I'm out.